Hello guys, I want to make a quick video discussing this article, uh, Google Chrome to join Apple Safari in one year certificate validity and obviously Mozilla Firefox is also joining this and, 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 and uh, there is a lot of debate around this article and uh, some people agreeing with this, some people disagreeing and I want to kind of weigh all the pros and cons of the two parties i've read most of the comments on hacker news and reddit and then and this article and then i just want to kind of discuss i don't have a strong opinion about it but let's have a discussion in the comment section guys and then see what you think so this change is essentially saying uh certificates which are these puppies right have a validity usually I mean, always have a validity and the validity says okay not valid uh, expires or not valid before this right and usually this this validity this expiry date or this validity is uh, usually two years three years sometimes and uh, this validity is getting shorter and shorter and shorter these days right but most big companies big enterprise they they kind of generate like four year certificate or three year certificate and they don't have to worry about it right and you pay the big bucks for companies like digicert or whatever to uh, this this is an example of digicert and you pay them so say i want a certificate that is around two years or three years right and uh, what they do is basically they took your public key and they encrypt it with the certificate authorities, which is there, this DigiCert uh, private key. And they, they encrypt it and then they generate uh, a certificate for you with the, all your issuer names and all that stuff, right? So that's the certificate. We talked about certificate authorities. Go check it out. However, Apple started in February uh, claiming that starting from september 1st they will block certificate that are essentially too long longer than specifically 398 days if there are certificate expiring more than 398 days we're gonna block them and they say it for security reasons. And I want to make take sometimes like, okay, how is it more secure if a, if, a, if a certificate is shorter? Okay, because nobody's explaining this for some reason, right? So I'm going to take a time to actually explain why it is actually good that a certificate has a shorter validity, right? And uh, yeah, so that's the change, basically. If And this change starts on September 1st. So certificate issued on september 1st first and onwards if they have more than one year uh, 398 days to be specific they are going to be blocked by chrome they're going to be blocked by uh, uh, safari they're going to be blocked by firefox so you cannot access that website essentially right you're going to get this error error a new error called the certificate too long something like that i think i believe uh, certificate validity is too long that's the new error all right so we know we understand the problem we know the change now right so that's that we completely understand this what is the use of this right and uh, i wrote these pros and cons here in the notebook so i don't forget right and uh, the first pros to this is if you have a shorter certificate validity expiry that means you're gonna generate regenerate or renew the certificate uh, every year in this case right and if you do that basically the certificate signature uh, what's one reason right and in the certificate there is a ca signature right that proves that a third party has uh, signed your certificate right so if you are renewing this every year the certificate uh, signature can be improved right let's say the algorithm they use to sign the certificate is in that year has been exploited or has been proven weak you can get a chance to kind of reissue a new certificate and uh, basically have that uh, a new shiny signature signature algorithm right so that's one another way is like uh, let's say your public key is very weak, right? It's, it's a two th uh, 2048 RSA or maybe less than that, right? 
the certificate authority can change their rules to prevent you from giving a, they are not going to sign your public key unless it's i don't know 496 or more or longer than that so more and more security right they the rules can change and then you're going to get a, a more a better certificate uh, with that so that's another pros that's good another pros is if your server private key remember when you when you try to get a certificate you generate first a public key and a private key and you generate it with this whatever algorithm and then you only send the public key to the certificate authority and says hey sign this please and then give me the certificate if and you, only you have the private key if the private key of the server is leaked or stolen in that year obviously a hacker if they found it in the beginning of the year then they have a year to to actually uh pretend to be you right it's it's very easy to do a man in the middle if they have your private key that's kind of bad however this could be reduced because instead of three years now it's only one year i know it's very it's not very compelling i absolutely agree with you but it could happen right so Sure, that's essentially the, uh, I run out of pros. Maybe if you guys have more pros, then let's have a discussion. Let's talk about the cons, guys. And uh, I and I try to kind of pull all the different opinions, guys. So let me know if I missed any. All right. So first thing is automation. Now that we have shorter certificates, are we still recording? Yes, okay. <laughs> now that we have shorter certificates, the problem is, how do we generate uh, generate them every year? We need some sort of automation. And big companies do not like that. They say, okay, uh, you're forcing us into automation and uh, we're just not ready for this automation. And uh, this is <laughs> this is a, this is a good opportunity for comp uh, for web servers that auto generate certificates like Caddy web server. I know a lot of people are against Caddy web server. Uh, because they don't like to give access to the internet, a web server access to the internet, specifically on the back end, right? They want it only at the front end. It's just having having a, a software access to the internet is is something uh, frowned upon enterprises. Like especially, oh, why are you? What are you doing accessing the internet to renew the certificate? People don't like that. They don't. They want their own uh, certificate management to do the certificate management for them and all that stuff, right? But that's not our topic, right? So yeah, automation. It's like still people are figuring this automation out, right? And and maybe this is actually a good thing. Maybe people will, it's a, it's a push to do better at the automation and, and remove this manual process almost, right? Some comment says that, well, this is just a push to hype up Let's Encrypt and uh, CertBot and just... Uh, create more work essentially out of nothing i'm not sure i agree with that but it's it's a, it's one opinion so it's like hey you're forcing us to use let's encrypt or you're, you're trying to hype up let's encrypt or you're trying to hype up cert bot or these automation tools right and and we rather just non have have a three four year certificate that is very very secure we're gonna use the maximum security and we're, gonna, we're not going to worry about it. That's it, right? And uh, yeah, so, so a lot of people don't like that. Right? And uh, here's, uh, here's something from me, actually. It's like, uh, it says, oh, what if, what if your uh, private key got stolen, right? That's just the uh, concept that we talked about earlier. Okay, what if you have a certificate that is like four year certificate? What if your private key got stolen? Well, simple. I am going to revoke it, right? Right? Just says, hey, <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna just gonna go revoke it, right? And revoking the certificate is a process that is it is very popular, right? There is the OCSP, which is Online Certificate Status Protocol Stapling, and most browsers now support that. You basically, as a client uh, in a browser, you say, ask, hey, when I want to communicate with you, please use the TLS extension OCSP stapling. So when you reply back, staple your certificate with the latest OCSP. That means when was the last time you validated your 
certificate authority. Is this is this thing still valid? Yes, it's not expired yet. I don't care about that. Is it still valid? Has it been revoked? It's called a revocation list, right? Is it still revoked? If it's not revoked, okay, I'm gonna communicate. If it's revoked, I'm gonna dis disconnect right there. So there is mechanism for revocation, right? So the idea of having, oh, what if it's stolen and make it shorter is doesn't really fly here if you think about it, right? So it's, hey, revocation. Revocation is a thing, right? Some people will say, hey, the revocation mechanism, not all clients are actually aware of using the OCSP or other revocation method, right? So that's another example. So let me show you how a revocation uh, example looks like. Bad SSL revocation. Here's how it looks like, guys. So this is the bad SSL. It's a beautiful website that tells you all the kind of certificate errors that you can get. So this is the revoked one, right? So this one, if you look at it, it's revoked bad SSL, right? If I look at the certificate, this thing is actually hasn't expired yet. Today is what, June 30 or J July 1st already. And uh, it expires for uh, October 8, 2021. But this thing is actually have been revoked. So the client asked for the AOCSP stapling and got back that, hey, although this thing is still valid, it's actually been revoked. So the server has been, I don't know, the private key has been leaked or uh, the certificate authority itself has been shady for some reason and we don't trust it anymore. And that's it, it's been revoked. That's it, we don't trust this anymore. So yeah, there is ways to do that, right? So a lot of people are kind of angry at Apple and Chrome, especially the Certificate Authority Consortium. What is it called? The CA, CAB, CAB Forum. Those people are the Certificate Authority Browser Forum. These people are a little bit mad at this decision because they don't think the pros outweigh the cons. It's like this might be in some sort of political move to push short certificates for automation reason and, and uh, we're not sure why yet but there is some sort of a play there and people not uh, and I, uh, to be honest i'm still i don't i don't know where where party i land down because i still not convinced those like shorter certificate or necessarily more secure to be honest because we have methods to determine more secure and I can always at any time revoke my own certificate if I feel that it's no longer valid or, or insecure and I can generate a better one with better keys, I guess, right? And uh, maybe this is Apple ways or Chrome or Google's way or Mozilla's way of just saying, yeah, we don't trust the web administrators and, and uh, browsers and users. So let's force the good things. And I necessarily, I, I genuinely don't care, to be honest. I mean, I use Let's Encrypt on my, most of my certificates anyway. And I, if I'm going to automate it, I, I'm just, it's just one line of code to automate. It's just literally one cert bot away to renew. So it's not really hard, right? And uh, yeah, and, and I completely understand that if people don't want to adopt this and it's hard and on big enterprises I'm, I'm just one guy so i doesn't really matter for me but yeah we're gonna uh, what do you guys think about this decision do you think it's good do you think it's bad do you think it's uh, it's just dumb let me know in the comment section below let's have discussion i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye